Hello, everyone, and welcome to Creator Fundamentals. My name is Dan Courier, and in today's live stream, we're going to talk, be talking about new ways for YouTubers to make money. Uh, and before we move any further, I just want to introduce my partner in crime here for the live stream, Dale Roberts. How's it going, Dale? Thank you very much, dude. I was jamming out. Did you catch me out there? Yeah, I was doing a little bit of the orangutan dance. It's, right a, there. it's a catchy tune, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was good stuff, man. Just glad to be here. Second week in a row. Absolutely. We're going to be going live between now and October 8th. And of course, October 8th is the People of Video Conference. That is the conference that I am hosting for content creators that want to develop a business and revenue streams around their content. So if you haven't got your ticket yet, definitely head over to peopleofvideo.com and grab your ticket before they sell out. We're going to have a great lineup of speakers, including Roberto Blake and Brian G. Johnson and Owen Video and Dale Roberts, of course. Uh, I will also be covering uh, the newest, latest, greatest, hottest revenue stream, which is Amazon Video. So we're excited to be able to get together in Albany, New York, October 8th through 10th for People of Video. And we absolutely want you to join us there. So Dale is going to be the MC of the event. And uh, I am looking forward to that. Yes, it should be an exciting time. I, I can't promise you the orangutan dance. That might be just a little too embarrassing. <laughs> but I tell you what, if you sell out the seats... I will do an orangutan dance in some depends. That's yeah, my treat to you. Or you can always just pay me more and I, I just won't do that at all. I might have to. I, okay, so you need to buy tickets so we can pay Dale not to do that. <laughs> Sounds like a winner to me, man. Yeah, it's it's a great this is a great opportunity here, folks. In so many regards, um, you know, a lot of the video creator conferences out there tend to be great. They're awesome to connect. But one of the things that we discovered was sometimes it gets mired and just clouded up. There's so many people that it becomes overwhelming. And one of the things that we really like about conferences is some of that personal space, if you will, that ability to connect with other video creators like yourself. And this is a kind of a lonely business. Let's face it. The camera doesn't kiss back. At least mine hasn't yet. <laughs> so, you know, being able to connect with other people will help you out, not just mentally speaking and mindset speaking, but also just from a creative standpoint and how you're approaching the business. And People of Video is going to be an excellent opportunity, reasonably priced, I, I might say, actually considerably priced less than most conferences out there. And you're having more opportunity to connect with some pretty awesome influencers. I mean, I know right now off the top of my head, Roberto Blake's on the, on the bill. Who are some of the other ones that we have involved? Uh, Brian G. Johnson. Owen Video, Meredith Marsh, Ross Brand, Shelly Nathan, Doc Rock, Diana Gladney, uh, so many speakers. Eddie Garrison's going to be there as well. Ah, my boy. Uh, yeah, we're going to have, uh, there's 15 speakers on the stage right now, and uh, they're going to be bringing all of their wealth of information and knowledge to you. Plus, it's going to be an intimate event, so it's not like you see them on stage and then you go off your, on your merry way. You're actually going to be able to engage with the speakers, have conversations, yep. uh, not, you know, asking questions on the stage, but actually face to face at people of video. And, you know, a lot of uh, conference organizers are a little hesitant to tell you what I'm about to tell you. It's that the value that you get at a conference, uh, you know, to a certain extent, Dale was uh, alluding to is what happens between speakers in the hallways and people of video is different in the sense that I recognize that up front and people of video is scheduled such that we put equal emphasis on your ability to network with the people who are going to be there. So you're going to be able to meet and learn from the speakers. You're going to be able to network with the speakers and the attendees. And it's just going to be a great opportunity for you to make connections in the YouTube community or the greater online video community. And those connections are really valuable in helping you build your business as you move forward. Agreed. Agreed. Honestly, this is this is an exciting opportunity here, folks. And something I'm going to go ahead and share with you is a little bit of a story here. And Dan, you can probably appreciate this. I was at a conference before and many been to many of them and uh, had the opportunity to chat with Evan Carmichael. This is before he and I became pretty good pals. Um, and there was a lot of people. It was it's such a big event. And I'm like, man, I really want to kind of speak to him. But I felt like I was in line at Cedar Point to jump onto a ride. You know, I'm like, OK, anytime now. OK says it's a 45 minute wait at this point. Eventually 
things died down and somehow we crossed paths, my wife and I, with Evan, and we were able to finally stop and talk with him. Now, in the back of my head, I'm going, I got to get over to this talk because there's going to be this talk about something. But you know what? Screw that. I had the opportunity to actually connect with Evan on a more visceral level and actually learn some really killer stuff that has actually helped out my channel tremendously. So having that direct connection with some of the speakers that you would normally just be like, oh my gosh, they're untouchable. And then you actually get the opportunity to chat with them in real life. Uh, Dan's probably the most approachable. You guys are going to probably find out a uh, very easy, easy going guy. Although I don't know how easy going you're going to be at the day of that event. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was telling Dale, we were originally, uh, the goal is to go live every Wednesday here on creator fundamentals uh, between now and the conference and hopefully beyond. Uh, and I was telling him the, there is so much to plan for a conference. And uh, I am oh, yeah. a, a, I run my entire business on creator fundamentals and my courses and everything else, plus trying to plan people a video. Uh, there are just a lot of things going on with that, but uh, the, you got a lot of plates spinning. <laughs> the greatest, the, the uh, greatest stress reliever on that is getting it all locked down early, getting it sold out. So people can, so we can focus on making the conference the absolute best that it can be. And we can do yeah. that by, inviting all of you to come to the conference and hang out with us. It is the 8th through 10th. It's in Albany, New York. We have a beautiful venue. It's a Crown Plaza Hotel. And uh, we're going to spend three days there networking with a lot of our friends that we haven't seen in almost two years, in some cases probably more than two years because of oh, wow. what's going gone on the last couple of years. So we're super excited to be able to do that. Uh, and it is a great opportunity for you as a YouTuber to learn new ways to make money. That is the the goal of this event. It's not it's not a fan event. It's not so you can go there and get a picture with Roberto Blake <laughs> or whoever it is. It's so you can actually learn from these creators, learn how they are, uh, you know, independent and uh, full time doing what they love to do. That's what we're trying to bring to everybody. And I'm also trying to bring it to the East Coast. So if you're on the East Coast, uh, then you got to show up. We're trying to bring this type of event to the East Coast and we're not going uh, to be able to continue to do it if we don't get a good, strong showing from our East Coast creators. Because uh, when I created this conference, it was with that idea that we needed something over here. So we didn't have to go out to LA or San Diego or Texas or all those other places that uh, take a lot of traveling uh, and a lot of time off if you still have that day job. Uh, but we are doing it here in Albany, New York, for the East Coast, and I hope we're able to continue this year after year and really show everybody just how many amazing creators we have uh, on this side of the country. So I just want to say hello to everybody in the chat real quick. I yeah. saw Construction Cronies out there, Tech Audit TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Ashley Hernandez, uh, The Danger Zone, uh, Bob Harvey, Paradox. Thank you guys for hopping into the live stream. Uh, if you have any questions relating to making money around your content, definitely leave the questions in the chat. Uh, but uh, we are, uh, you know, me and Dale are actually interesting. We're both YouTubers, but we have both uh, figured out ways to earn revenue in, in very different ways. Yeah. Dale does self-publishing uh, and you can give them, if you can give them a, a high level view of the way that you generate revenue around your content. Um, and then uh, I can give them just a little insight about what I, what I have been able to do with mine. Uh, well, let me just summarize it here because a lot of people are going to be like, okay, anybody can teach anything online these days, but I think it's important to kind of set the table. The fact that I am a, multiple international best-selling author, not just in some random small niches that you sell just two copies of. We're talking thousands within the course of a week. Um, I am a multi-award-winning author. By the way, Dan, just have my 16th award sent to me today for Amazon reviews for books. So nice, congrats. Really super happy about that. And uh, I've been doing this business full time. This is all I do. This is what pays the bills uh, is self-publishing since 2014. 
And uh, it wasn't until about 2016 when I had some great traction that I started the YouTube channel. I started to share some of that journey. And next thing I know, people are coming along for the ride. Kind of sounds like somebody else's story here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I started on YouTube back with a different channel that was called The Average Dan. And that was basically just how-to videos, trying to help people solve problems that I was faced with and uh, couldn't find a video to help me out. So I created videos to make it a little less trouble for the next person along. After I started doing that, I was probably a few months in where I kind of had that epiphany that a lot of people have. Hey, there is an actual way to do this and be more successful at it. And then I started sharing the things that I was learning. I quickly realized that that wasn't going to fly on the average Dan channel. So I started Creator Fundamentals in 2017, uh, at the second half of 2017. Since that time, Creator Fundamentals has grown to we're closing in on 80,000 subscribers and we've Nuts. been able to help. I think we're closing in on 6 million views as well. So wow. been able to help a lot of people learn the fundamentals of YouTube. And as we've grown on the channel and as I've grown as someone who is building revenue around my channel, I have begun to explore new ways to create revenue streams to help people create their freedom. And that's the idea that you can ditch the nine to five, that you can go out there and find something that you're passionate about, start creating content, learn the business side of things. My particular focus is learning how to create passive income, which means that you're not trading more time for more money. And the better you are at being able to do that, then the more time you have to enjoy your creativity and find new ways to reach people and bring that passion to them. So that's what I've been working on. That has led me more recently to Amazon video as a revenue stream. They have an Amazon influencer program uh, that uh, takes existing creators like many of us are on YouTube and says, hey, if you already have a following, come over to Amazon, be an influencer and start putting videos on the platform. Started that a few months ago and this month we have crossed $8,000 in monthly revenue on Amazon. So it's just an amazing opportunity. And it all started with that idea of creating a YouTube channel. And it's that journey that we want to encourage you to, uh, you know, take part in to take that next step to actually go to a conference. It was actually in 2017 that I went to the com a conference for the first time. I ended up meeting Dale. And a few years later, here we are. I'm running my own conference and Dale is the MC. So it is. What's the, wrong with us? What happened? <laughs> it is those relationships that you develop when you have yeah. that face to face interaction with other like minded people. And we're going to be doing that for three days in Albany. So I really hope that you're able to come and join us because it really does reset your perspective on what's possible around your content. And it starts to put those building blocks in place to show you exactly how uh, you can make money around your content. That's uh, really, really exciting. The whole thing with Amazon Influencer, heck, do you remember when I first broke into that program and it was just live video? Uh, I might've told you about that at one point. And it, it was like, you know, ah, and then you kind of came back to me and you're like, you might want to consider the uh, pre-recorded videos. And I was just like, ah, I'll Go figure. I'm sitting here kicking tires. The next thing I know, you're like flexing on me. And here's the funny thing is, folks, Dan knows what he's talking about. Because the thing is, is I uploaded my first three videos denied. You remember, Dan, when I was in, in holding for two weeks and you're like, oh, just go ahead and delist them. You're right. I delisted one of them, left the three there. Guess what? Denied again. Um, the beautiful thing is over on my personal profile of self-publishing with Dale versus the live streaming tech one, which is where we were doing it. I followed your exact tips approved within a few days. I was like, my boy. So Dan knows what he's talking about. Uh, so I'll be working on some more content here for the Amazon influencer program and getting it up there. Cause it's, it's quite the opportunity not to mention for authors like me who have books that I could be able to shoot videos about those books and kind of double dip, you know, cause if somebody buys something, that means I'll get a percentage more of that sale. Absolutely. Yeah. There's so much opportunity and there's so much crossover from the skills that you learn on YouTube to uh, the process of making videos on Amazon. I'm going to jump in the chat here real quick. You know, there's something in the chat that I don't think I've ever seen before. There's somebody chatting that actually doesn't have a channel name next to their icon. 
I noticed that. That's says, that's really wild. <laughs> it says, hey, can you see this message? Yes, I can see that message. Um, but for some reason, you don't have a name next to your profile. I don't know how you pulled that off. You you got do you have to highlight the comment over inside the restream uh, oh, yeah, right. deck right there. You know, pop that up so everybody because oh, we yeah. can figure out like what's your name? Are we supposed to just call you nothing? There you <laughs> so go. There's you no see, name. Can you see this message? It's so like so if we look at a regular message, we have this one that actually shows the name of the channel, but then these yeah. messages are like a mystery. <laughs> Never seen that before. Amazing. Well, well done, by the way. Well that, played. Like an ox oxalotl or what? What is that picture? Um, all right. So in any event, let's jump in chat here real quick. So earlier we asked people where they were from. Paradox mm -hmm. said they are watching from Missouri. So thank you for tuning in to the live stream. Missouri in the house. Um, <laughs> uh, so we got here a uh, great lineup, similar lineup to that other conference in, in LA, <laughs> more than half the cost. My babies do. So unfortunately I can't attend. Yeah. I mean, we, we were definitely conscious of the entire, the cost of attending conferences because to be yeah. quite honest, it's not cheap. Uh, when I first attended a conference, it was something that I had to give, you know, significant thought to. Um, yeah. but if you're in a position where you're on the fence and you are trying to decide whether it's worth it. Forget who's on the stage. And we have an amazing collection of people on the stage, not to take anything away from them. But in my experience, just the value that you get from being able to network with other people, because we've talked about this a million times, Dale, you don't have mm -hmm. a good opportunity to talk about YouTube. I could just double click that um, with your family or your friends. They don't get it. But to be in a room yeah. with a hundred other people who get it, is really valuable it really helps you focus on what's important and helps you learn how to start getting those wheels spinning uh or moving forward on opportunities to make money around your content hey fundamentally how your day <laughs> just reading a comment i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> you threw me off there uh, <laughs> I told you I'd get you cracking up today. I, call, I called up Dan today and I had him just, you know, breaking my, up and such, just cracking up. My day is going well. Thank you so much for tuning in to the live stream. Construction cronies out there. Good to see you, sir. Ca Canada, Alberta. Uh, where are you at in Alberta? Um, I, I lived in uh, Calgary for about three-ish or so months when I was training in pro wrestling. Beautiful, beautiful up there. Uh, let's see here, John. All right. So here, you know what? Let's try. I'm going to try the bells and whistles. I'm a little rusty doing this live stream thing. We were talking about this before, but uh, uh, we are uh, live streaming with Restream, and which is really nice. Helps you kind of get everything organized here and makes it really easy for you. But uh, it does take a, a minute or two to kind of get back into the swing of things. And, uh, you know, I've learned my lesson and I've probably done a couple hundred live streams by now. Um, and I used to do them for like three hours at a time. And uh, I have learned in my mid mid years that three hours is a bit rough we can't all be a nick nimmin who has to really, <laughs> yeah who you know <laughs> crushes it when it comes to all time you know day long live streams but uh we do what we can here on creator fundamentals and i do he's want... he's slowed down a little bit though these has days he? yeah, well, yeah he's know. not doing the six to eight hour epic streams it's usually still a lot three to four hours <laughs> well you know it's probably harder with like d stuck in mexico so. <laughs> he seems to be really uh doing some really great production value though over uh he with really his is. channel so he, he's made yeah. the most of the situation so absolutely so we've mentioned people a video a couple times i just want to show you something really quick just so you can get an yeah. idea of what people a video is all about
I don't know about you, but that gets me excited to uh, for people of video to get here. It's killer. Uh, yeah. By the way, uh, I don't know if we're communicating properly right now. Did I happen to see a footage of Roger Wakefield? Is Roger actually coming to the event? Roger Wakefield is speaking. At get the out of here, guys you know, and gals. If nobody's ever seen Roger Wakefield, look his stuff up. The guy is amazing and he's literally blowing up. I swear, like overnight, he's been working his tail off for years, but he finally got it. And he's really, this is a guy, honestly, I'm going to probably be pulling out a notepad and I never pull out a notepad. Right, Dan? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I never do. You always just see me just sitting here. I usually got my arms crossed and I got my mobile phone like ready and like getting... You know, and I'll, I'll I'll jot down some notes every now and then, but I'm gonna get out a pad and paper for Roger Wakefield because that dude crushed it over the he, last year or so. Absolutely, man. He he just put together like the the right plan and he executes every day. And you know how? And I I messaged him the other day. I'm like, you know how you know you've made it when I go into the other room and uh, my kid's sitting there, my 11 year old is sitting there on the iPad watching videos, and I look down, he's watching Roger Wakefield. <laughs> my 11 year old, I'm like, when you've hit the 11 year old crowd, you know that you are absolutely, uh, you know, crushing it on all cylinders because he, he's a plumber. He makes content about plumbing and my 11 year old is in there watching it. So if he's making plumbing yep. entertaining, then, you know, he's absolutely crushing it real quick. Just want to jump in the chat. Yep. DC scrap and rooster has been a while. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out in the live stream. We are trying so hard to get back to a regular live streaming schedule, but I'm uh, forcing him to. Yeah. I mean, I've been going <laughs> absolutely crazy trying to plan everything trying to make people a video the absolute best that it can be yeah. for everybody for the speakers for the attendees uh and uh we are um closing in we're almost 30 days away from people of video it's insane to think after all this planning last year we had to pivot to a virtual event that we're actually going to get the chance to get everybody in a room together under the people of video banner. So I am excited to get everybody and I get to invite my friends to come be speakers at the event, which is really cool as well. So it's going to be a party. We're going to learn some things. We're going to make some new friends and it's all going to happen at people of video, October 8th through 10th in Albany, New York. So if you've attended my live streams, uh, now over the past four years that we've been doing this and, uh, you want an opportunity to have a conversation with me and the amazing speakers there, then, uh, head over to people of video.com and grab a ticket to the event. Uh, we're staying at a really cool hotel. It's called the, it's a really long name. <laughs> it is the crown Plaza, Albany, the Desmond hotel. It's a mouthful, but it's a really cool hotel. It's very, uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, it has, it's kind of a, it kind of looks like you're in a village inside the hotel. Very cool uh, atmosphere. I see Pitbox out there in Elite Jamaica official channel. Uh, blessings to you as well. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out. I uh, hope you just see really back the channel. So we've got Pitbox out there. A long time. Hope you're well. Just getting back. I can remember going through, if I recall, uh, looking at all the different, um, updates that uh, we were working through on pit boxes channel art year. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's probably been a couple of years now. I think it was before, before COVID. So yeah. um, definitely cool to see people are still doing the YouTube thing. The only nice. way to, to fail is if you stop moving forward. So you keep yep. doing that, you keep making changes, keep making adjustments uh, and don't give up because there are opportunities out there and you never know where they're going to come from. Again, the, I, you know, making content about YouTube these past few years and then, my brother started doing Amazon video. I was like, oh, what's that? And then next thing you know, it's an absolutely ridiculous opportunity. If you just join the live stream and you're not familiar, you're not following me on, on uh, Facebook, Amazon video is is kind of the new new shiny object in the world of online video. And we've been able to make wild thousands, west right now. Yeah, thousands of dollars. It's basically ground floor. They just came out with it earlier this mm -hmm. year and all the creators that are jumping into it and doing it right are able to absolutely crush it. My brother and I, you know, are both over $8,000 this month alone and it just keeps going up. So it's absolutely amazing. And uh, one of the thing at People of Video, I, I'm actually doing, I have a course called Influencer 100X at influencer100x.com, but I'm actually going to be presenting that material at People of Video. So if you are, nice. if you have developed your channel here uh, on YouTube enough to qualify for the Amazon Influencer Program, and you wanna learn how to turn that into 
thousands of dollars a month. And I'm not kidding about this. This isn't, hey, some people will get thousands of dollars a month. The people that are in my course right now, their first months are between $100 and $400. And that's pretty much where I started. And now I'm at $8,000 in a month. So there's Tremendous. absolutely an amazing opportunity. How many to months get... did it take you to build up to that? I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, so here, let's see. Um, Cause I know you, you, you start, it was this year for sure. Obviously. If you talk for a few minutes, I will pull up my actual numbers and show people. Yeah, uh, actually. About... And uh, those that are actually really interested in it, I, I would highly recommend just search up Amazon influencer program, see all the things that are involved in it. Um, and then when you do get signed up for it and hopefully approved, you actually get some emails. And today they actually had a webinar. I'm not sure if you caught that, Dan really informative they brought on a guest and there were some ambiguities that i had originally like for instance you were like don't put any pictures of the product page in the video they came oh, out yeah. point blank and they were like don't put a they're like it's redundant they're like you already got the picture of the product right. page and your yep. videos on it so i was like and it's always been something like i will do just because it's like i snapped the shot and as as I'm talking, or maybe I did a jump cut, I just throw it over top of it, so that way it's seamless. And unfortunately, they're like, "Yeah, don't do that." They're like, it, "It's you, you'll get rejected." And I got approved for the first like the videos, but as soon as it came to the first three videos to qualify for the program, that's when they had went ahead and rejected me. But when you said, "Hey, strip it down, stop doing so much fancy stuff, just shoot, run and gun, put that stuff up," and I was just like, "All right, let's do it." Got approved. Uh, literally, it was yeah, like yesterday. And it only took about a few days. I think I uploaded them back on Friday. So yeah. we're, we're kicking butt, taking names. Dan knows what he's talking about. Absolutely. And one of the, that particular, so one of the things you always got to be wary of when new programs come out is there's a lot of chatter and you always want to separate fact versus fiction and what people think is going on versus what Amazon actually says. So there was some yeah. information out there on a number of different topics that uh, I was not able to verify via anything that Amazon had put out. And I've literally read and watched every video that they put out on Amazon video. The One of the things that I'm doing in the Influencer 100X private group that goes with my course is... Um, I'm going through that video. I'm answering those questions, those pending questions that we didn't know. And I'm posting them in the group with a timestamp to that video. And then we have a link to the video so people oh, yeah. can get the, the high level points from that video. Cause a lot of it's like how to upload a video and all that. And, and mo the people in my course already know how to do that. Right. But those little things like, Hey, on a video, you know, how long does somebody have to watch your video and that kind of thing. So uh, good opportunity to to do all that. So I just want to show you guys and let me see if I can do this. By the um, way, that was 30 seconds or more. I learned that today, actually. Uh, I was like, wow, look at that. So that, that webinar was really, really helpful. So. It's 30 seconds or more. But the cool thing about it is if you, you have a video that it's less than 30 seconds mm -hmm. video, you still get commission. So what that means Bam. is what that means. If it's 15 Here, seconds, you'll still be able to do it if right. someone stays the whole, whole If you entirety. can make a video, if you can make a video that helps somebody answer a question or solve a problem or get a sense of what the product is like in less than 30 seconds and then they and then they don't watch any more videos and they buy the product, you're going to get a commission on that. So just to give you guys an idea, this is Amazon influencer video. I started like February 27th. In my first month I made $434, then 1000 then 3,100, then 46, then 51, and then 72. So it's Good an interesting Lord. thing. Amazon had an adjustment today. In th this morning, this was over $8,500, and then they made some adjustment, and now it's down to 72. So we're we're in the Amazon video community. We're waiting to see whether that – because a couple weeks ago, we had this random spike. They made some kind of adjustment and brought everybody's numbers up, and now it looks like they brought them back down. But either way, 7200 dollars in the month uh is uh, nothing to sneeze at so <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's it, a significant amount <laughs> let me just tell you each video takes about 10 minutes to make this is not like youtube you don't have to commit the time and energy that you no. put into a youtube video only to have youtube say eh, we're not going to show this to anybody <laughs> so amazon has been it's been a really great opportunity to um, be able to use the skills you have to make videos one of my chief complaints about YouTube is that a professional wasters are rewarded on YouTube. So take a five minute topic and you turn it into 30 minutes and people are watching it for 25 minutes to solve a problem that they could probably do in five. You are rewarded 
by YouTube. So one of the things that I like about Amazon is you're rewarded for being concise and to the point. I don't want to fill a video with yep. fluff. I want to give people the information that they nope. need and only that information. And that's exactly what's going on. And as you can see, you do that successfully, really efficient manner, and it rewards you. Um, like, like Dale said, it's, it's the wild West right now. Um, in terms of it's, it's just a, a new horizon and everybody is, is cashing in who has some skills and is already an Amazon influencer. So the people that are coming into the program have an established, um, audience, but the ironic thing is, is that your existing audience does not come into play in any form or fashion with Amazon influencer video. Um, you know, and those are the little things you learn in terms terms of like how to get approved in that. So I'm excited to be literally share exactly what I'm doing to get to this point, uh, live and in person at people of video. It's the perfect timing that this has taken off and it's a new fresh topic because honestly in the room at people of video with Roberto Blake and Owen video and Brian Johnson, I don't need to be teaching people how YouTube works. We have more than enough uh, <laughs> qualified YouTube experts in there, but yeah. I get to bring something new and fresh uh, to the stage. And that is Amazon influencer video. And we're, and it's, it's just going to be awesome. I want people to leave with, you know, amazing new connections and friendships and, and uh, you know, colleagues that they're going to be able to uh, collaborate with and, and, you know, have those long lasting relationships. Plus I want people to leave with a new solid way, specific information they can take back and make a revenue that could absolutely raise their, they're nine to five. You look at $7,000 a month. Yeah. That's like $84,000 a year. Could, could you replace your nine to five with $84,000 a year for making simple videos on Amazon? So there's so much opportunity out there. And those are the kind of things we want to be able to everybody, uh, on, uh, or at people of video. And again, you can go to people to grab tickets and Hey, if there's anybody out there who wants to go and the, the cost of the ticket is an issue, send an email to ask Dan at creator fundamentals and just let me know. And I'll, and I'll hook you up. I'll help you out. Um, we can certainly come up with, uh, some opportunities to get people who are, are interested in trying to build that. You obviously got to pay your, your own transportation and your hotel, but do yeah. my best to make the uh, attendee ticket to people of video as affordable as possible for you. So um, let's see, I think we can drop that so we can get Dale's pretty face bigger on the screen. That's it. Yes. Nothing like seeing my big head. <laughs> <laughs> oh so, man, dude. So there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff on, on our plates here right now. So what, I'm just going to take us off a beaten path. I know we're talking about people video. We're talking about Amazon influencer, but let's talk about Dan for a second. What the heck are you doing with the very little free time that you have that you are able to enjoy yourself? Oh, when I, so the free time that I have, um, well, actually what, what we tend to do when we actually have free time as a, as a family, <laughs> a family unit, uh, is, is go camping. So as my, my other YouTube channel that used to be the average Dan is now called, we love mm -hmm. RV camping. Um, so we do some content over there. Although that's kind of taking a backseat to Amazon and yeah, getting outside and, and relaxing and not staring at a computer screen, uh, is definitely how we try to, uh, spend our time. You know, it's me and my wife and my two kids and three rescue dogs and a rescue cat. And we put everybody in our travel trailer and we head out amping. So that is how we unwind, which is interesting because putting all of that in a little box out in the woods may not sound relaxing, but uh, it's definitely a nice team. Welcome to the live stream. Good to see you. I was in the Amazon. I seen Susie stream. actually hanging out that webinar earlier. And somehow I met what I missed the actual live webinar. So I had to do the replay, which yeah. disappoints me because I would have asked questions um and see yeah. kind of you know what kind of numbers other people were doing because i i could tell by on the replay her reaction to some people's video counts um to kind of get a sense of how far how deep into the uh the, the process people were so it was kind of interesting it would have been that uh they did cover a lot of a uh, lot of good information in there um and they did like you said answer those questions that were that were pending so that was helpful as well 
Hey, if you have any questions sure. about people of the video or YouTube or Amazon video, any of those things, uh, definitely leave them in the chat. Happy to answer those questions while we're here. We're going to at nine o'clock. So we're going to be here for just a few more four minutes. Yeah. I got to start today because, you know, technology, but uh, otherwise, <laughs> yes. uh, we, we, no we excuse needed. <laughs> yeah. We wanted to come out and spend some time uh, chatting with everybody. And uh, for sure, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the chat and we'll, we'll uh, definitely do our best to answer those for you. Um, let's, oh, yeah. See, there's a my commissions went lower today, too. Yeah, it was an adjustment. It was interesting that happened during the day. Because when I woke up this, the, my revenue was one thing. And when I checked it later this evening, um, it uh, it had adjusted. It's kind of like, it's similar to those of us who are YouTube or you know, YouTubers that constantly look to see how many subscribers we have or how many views our videos yeah. getting. On Amazon, it's checking what our revenue is in the morning. Uh, I see what our commission <laughs> is. because it's, it's absolutely, it, it becomes addicting. As soon as you get that first taste and you finish out your first month and you see you've made $100, $400, then you're like, wow, this this can really work. And it's totally scalable based on the number of videos that you do and the strategy that you uh, use to target the right products to, to, to get that money. So for sure. Yeah. So we right. were just sharing a little bit about what you do on your free time. I'm curious, we've got these live viewers here hanging out with us. Uh, what do you guys do on your free time? If you have any free time, mm -hmm. uh, let us know inside the chat. Love to hear from each and every single one of you in some capacity, because I know you guys got to do something for fun besides just videos. Because me, literally before you and I connected, I was just out playing some Marvel Puzzle Quest, some video games. Oh yeah. That's, that's my favorite, like free time. Just sitting down on the couch, spending some time with Kelly. She and I just sit there and play some video games or we'll go out for long walks. And when I mean long walks, typically like five to 10 miles at a time. Nice. Are you mobile video games? Or are you like a PC gamer or a console? Uh, yeah. PC, PC. Yeah. Uh, I do it all uh, through steam uh, and, oh, and get you? it through that. And so what I'll end up doing is I have my PC set up here in the office and I will actually get it to where I can do remote play on my MacBook Pro that I'll plug into the television. And nice. I could sit there and play all the video games out there. Meanwhile, it's running here on my whole rig inside the office. Really? Yeah, it's it's fun. And and honestly, uh, you know, we can get a lot of games like free, like that one's free. And just like a ton of really good deals through Steam. I'm not selling this by the way here, folks. It's just, <laughs> that's just my favorite free time, like activity and such, because I could sit here and tell you, I like writing and reading, but that's the same stuff I'm doing anyway. So, right, so right. my free time av availability typically is walking until I have blisters on my feet or, um, you know, spending some time on the couch, just vegging out, playing some video games. I see someone right here. Hi, pilot. Ryan. Yes, I he, noticed that. Sleep. sleep. Otherwise, two jobs for 10 years, LOL. Wow. Lots you know, of lettuce indeed. You know, it's interesting. So I had... There were a couple different times in my life where I had I had two jobs or I attempted to have two jobs. One, when I was full-time in college, I had two jobs. And uh, the two shortest jobs I ever had were those second jobs where I went to UPS to work. I think I worked for 29 days and I stopped at 29 days because... At 30 days, the dues that you were paying into the union locked in and you couldn't get the money back. <laughs> and I'm yeah, like, you were like, I'll be yeah, taking I'm that. Like, <laughs> and you're inside the back of a truck and there's dirt in the air. And it's just not, God bless all the people who do that every single day. Um, and the, out of all that, it wasn't the warehouse. It was big deliveries of flavored coffee. By the time you finished your shift, that smell was just the most awful. Lingers it started out yeah, it's like hazelnut or French vanilla. And you're like, oh, this is great. It smells good. After you've loaded like 500 boxes of it in the, the back of a truck, it's the, it's the worst smell that you've ever had. Make uh, it stop. Yeah, please. Ex exactly. <laughs> yep. Oh, that, yeah. that and I took a second job working at like two o'clock in the morning, unpacking boxes at CVS. And that, that lasted like a week because... <laughs> the the person who came in to manage that uh, overnight would eat would just come in as long as she wanted and you didn't you left whenever she decided to leave so you didn't have an amount of work to work towards and you didn't have a time to work towards it made it very hard to be <laughs> to uh to work that way so this is why i'm so passionate 
about building these types of revenue streams on the side, being able to create your freedom, as I like to say. Uh, you know, I don't uh, encourage anybody to quit their job, but you start yeah. learning the ability to create an audience around something that you're passionate about online. And then you can start to develop that revenue stream in your spare time. When I started Creator Fundamentals, it was nine o'clock till midnight, weeknights, and I built it to where it is now. And it's allowed me other opportunities uh, to build additional revenue streams. So definitely get on board. It, it allows you, it gives you that freedom to do things that you enjoy doing more versus, you know, picking up a second job and working it for 10 years. So um, you know, start as much as you can. YouTube is an amazing place to get started with this kind of thing because you can learn to do anything you want to do for free. Um, you know, so that can't yeah. it stop you as long as you have an internet connection. That's true. So I see Susie said she likes to plant, uh, like to work on a garden in her free time. Susie, what kind of uh, stuff do you put in your garden? Uh, vegetables, uh, are you flowers? Is there specific types of plants that you use? I used to do a lot of gardening with the seniors in the healthcare industry when I was working at a retirement uh, and assisted living community. And uh, believe it or not, that was actually the first time I injured my back using a two-man post hole digger, blew it out, like completely herniated the uh, one of the discs in my back. But all that to say this, I, I did a lot of gardening back in the day because most of the time, the, you know, the seniors would plant it. But after it was all said, it was like, oh, yeah, that's that's your duty, Dale. You handle that. <laughs> yeah, I haven't had success with gardening. Every time we try to do a really? garden here, um, you know, I one year I got I went and I grew. You get one of those little things where you start all your seeds inside. It's got the little clear plastic cover, you know, yep. got them. They were all looking great. And then I came in one day and everything had died overnight. I'm like, I'm like, I give up. I'm like, I don't know what the heck I did to them. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we rely on my, my parents are pretty successful at their garden. So we have unlimited supplies of zucchinis and cucumbers and corn from them. <laughs> Mm, this is a good time of year for zucchinis, man. We we have this gigantic extra large one inside the fridge right now, and I need to get in there and dice it up. So uh, Pilot Ryan Media says YouTube is my second job, close to full time at this point. Affiliate commissions and memberships have been crucial. Awesome. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, I mean, and there's there's so many different ways to monetize and finding the ones that work best with your audience and, you know, your brand. Uh, is part of the fun of this process and and learning about ways that you didn't know uh, were out there to uh, make money with things like people of video. So, um, yeah. you know, that's why that's why we're doing this, because I, I definitely believe that anybody who is just simply dedicated to the process can learn how to do this and how to make money. Um, you know, so don't think that your content doesn't apply or it's not for you. You don't know anything about business. Get started now and start to you know build the pieces. When I went to to my first conference in 2017, I didn't know what an email list was, and everybody was talking about how important they were. Um, yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's time to learn that stuff. Take notes and and you know build upon what you learn, and and eventually you'll get there. Mm, Pepperoncini plant and aroma tomato plant. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Paradox. You and I would get along just fine. I don't even know what a pepperoncini is. <laughs> Pepperoncini, uh, it's a little, little tiny pepper. You typically oh. will see them like served with like some pizza places will serve one of those. Oh, I got you. They're yep. so good. Yes, they're so great. Oh, man. Awesome. So now that we have, uh, you know, delved into the world of gardening, uh, we're about to wrap it up here on the live stream. I want to thank everybody for coming and hanging out. It was a quick 45 minutes uh, this evening because we were a little late getting out, but uh, I want to encourage everybody to come back. We are going to be live streaming every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Uh, so come and hang out with us and uh, um, bring those questions. If you have questions on any of the topics that we talked about today, or in building your brand and making revenue, uh, you know, bring those back to the live stream. We're going to be happy to answer those for you. Dale's going to be hanging out with us in the live streams for the next few weeks. So we're excited about that. And uh, uh, again, I want to invite everybody, peopleofvideo.com uh, to check out the information on that. And I'd love to see, you know, we see the familiar faces that we've known for years in the chat, but it's just a whole different experience when you get to meet people in person. So hopefully we can get together with some of you in person. Um, and uh, if not this year, you know, maybe you'll be able to make it out next year, but it's definitely an opportunity worth looking into whether it is this year or next year. And uh, hopefully you all, uh, you know, 
try to go that route as soon as you're able to. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Uh, I see Susie Valentin, DC Scrap and Rupert, R Rooster. See, this is what happens. This is why I stopped live streaming at nine o'clock because my lips <laughs> stopped working. Thank you guys uh, for joining us in the live stream. I appreciate it. We will see you next Wednesday at 8.